Have you been practicing all the techniques we have learned until today? You sure did a good job in learning all those complicated and unfamiliar skills. Now, it's time to learn Bundebegi's last madang, the 12th. In today's lesson, we'll be learning Huegegarumaki and Nechagi, the skills to block the opponent's assault and attack directly. Okay, now let's find out what these words mean. Karomaki. Huege, swinging movement. Karomaki, to block horizontally. To raise the elbow and block the opponent's attack inwards. Nechagi. Ne, powerfully, strongly. Chagi, to kick. To raise the foot and kick powerfully. The twelfth madang is the last of Pondebegi. It is made up of 15 techniques in all. Historically, tekyon was a martial art and at the same time a recreation for the general public. It was not a mysterious martial art that was separated from the everyday lives of the Korean people. Therefore, the delicate yet strong spirit of Koreans is embedded in tekyon. <coughs> Palge garomaki is a technique of putting one foot back and at the same time raising the opposite hand to the armpit and while bending the wrist inward, pushing and blocking the opponent's attack with the palm. Nechagi is the technique of stretching out the left hand and by raising the right knee, kicking down as if stepping on the opponent with the sole. Okay, let's learn the two techniques we have just seen. Huegegarumaki is a blocking skill to push the opponent's attack after bringing your hands up to your armpits. And Nechagi is a technique to bring your foot above the opponent's head and strike down with the sole of your foot. Now, let's follow the Grandmaster Cheong Kyung-hwa and learn these two skills. 
Palge garomaki is a technique of putting one's foot back and at the same time pointing the opposite hand downward, raising the hand up to the armpit, and bending the wrist back, pushing and blocking the opponent's attack with the palm. Point the hand downward, then bend the wrist back, pushing and blocking with the palm. Keep the arm vertical and raise the hand up to the nose. Whoa, <laughs> you've improved a lot since we started learning Taekyang. Oh, that's just a result of every day's practice with the oh. master. What do you think of Hwalge Karumaki? Oh, Hwalge Karumaki is very good because after a while when you practice it, it's, it becomes just like a fast reflex. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to learn and it's very easy to use. <laughs> Ne chagi is a technique of raising the knee and stretching the foot, kicking as if stepping on the opponent. Raise the knee point the foot and stretch the foot forward, kick as if stepping on the opponent. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, what do you think of Nechagi? Oh, Nechagi is a very, very good kick, but it requires some flexibility though, so you should always be sure to warm up before you use it. If you can use this kick and bring your leg up very high, you can hit your opponent's head with a lot of power. Palye garomaki can be applied to block the opponent's attack outwards by turning the waist. Nechagi is effective in attacking above the shoulder of the opponent. How did you find the skills we have learned until now? At last, we have finished learning all the techniques we have picked out of Pundebegi's 12 badangs. Even though it was a short period of time, I hope it was enough for you to understand a lot about Taekyeon. Starting from our next lesson, we will be learning Kyolyan Taekyeon, which are skills also used in real life. Okay, then keep your expectations high and I'll see you next time. Bye!